Welcome to the Village Cabral Workgroups for Projects presentation. I would like to propose a little idea that should solve our current situation, which is that all works are with the committee legally uh, and the committee uh, delegates parts of it to a management company. Now, uh, the additional delegations uh, create extra costs or alternatively, uh, everything has to be done by the committee, which is, of course, not ideal. It's a lot of work. I haven't been in this um, committee in the past four years as well. Um, it, is, it is a lot. Now, my proposed solution is that the committee approves of work groups so work groups of owners who can then take on a specific task now um, that of course needs to be defined in a way so we can't just go out and uh, an owner wants to do something uh, doesn't get proper approval or you know gets a, a blanket okay for anything they want to do and then they just run around and do things potentially against the interests of everybody else. So a specific task that one or a group of owners then uh, will execute and the leader of this group will report to the committee regarding this task. So very fairly clear and straightforward and the um, committee can delegate the work to uh, an owner or a group of owners, so a work group. Now, just for the record here, of course, this work group doesn't have any specific rights or anything like that. They don't make any decisions. Decisions are still made by the committee. It is simply a, a way that we can, that the committee uh, can focus on what they actually need to do, which is making decisions. The advantage of that is that we uh, save a lot of money. Uh, we can get more work done, which is espe especially important here. If you go back into uh, the last videos where you can see the amount of work and things that need to be done at the place since it is uh, quite old um, and uh, additionally we can get more owners involvement at the village which is a great thing because you want to know what's going on at your place it's your investment it's your place as well so you want to have this kind of extra knowledge and here's a little example of that which is something that I have done in the past um, as a, as a member of the committee, uh, but which, which could be easily um, put onto a work group or an individual person in the back of the village. We uh, do not own the part between the river and the boundary there. So along that part, I have started planting uh, trees and bushes uh, to prevent in uh, the summertime this all to become a desert and a haven for um, sand flies. That um, you can actually look at this if you want to. Um, it's fairly advanced in A block already, so part, it is past A block, uh, but it needs to be continued and uh, trees and bushes can fairly easy in town uh, be acquired for free if you're, if you're local, if you're around. I've also grown uh, my own trees out of off cuts and Graham has done the same and uh, seedlings and so on so far. So it's a nice little gardening project for one or multiple people and just something that uh, you know can uh, help out very big to make the place look a lot better but um, is something that when you're busy with making big decisions and when people know you're a, you are a committee member uh, then they will approach you while you're <laughs> while, while you're putting trees in the ground and so on and try to it's it's quite difficult if you are a, a committee member. It's much easier if you are uh, just an owner, just in quotation marks here, um, 
and um, you know then people obviously ask you maybe what you're doing and then you can explain oh yeah we're planting trees along there and it's all it's all nice and um, it's not much work for an for an individual that doesn't have to deal with uh, any other day-to-day uh, um, -day body corp work so that's just an example um, there are plenty more lots of interesting things that people can do that also don't ha necessarily have anything to do with gardening if you're more interested in other things there is a lot that can be done uh, important here is that it's the the goal is to reduce the work of the poor committee um, by um, making by making this kind of work groups rather than increasing the work of the committee by which also which is the risk that I can see here by um, creating chaos and people just running off doing their own things and uh, rather than doing just the task that they were um, assigned by the committee to do. So um, there is a little bit of risk, but the reward, I believe, is really, really big uh, and can create a lot of harmony and more involvement of owners within the place. Yeah, I hope you like this idea and uh, we can try it out in practice. Thank you very much for watching.